What's up, everybody, and welcome to another week of the number one show on TV. You know it's all about pre -dis. Of course, I'm your host, Curdy, and this week we are here at the National Stadium Swimming Pool for the 2013 Carifta Swimming Championships, of course. Now, listen to me. Don't move a muscle because for the next half an hour, it's just entertainment, lifestyle, number one right here on pre -dis. Don't move a muscle because pre -dis start right now. Now we kick off the show this week with highlights from Chocolate Bunnies. Of course, the venue was down there in Margaritaville, Ocherius. And of course, Kurt Riley destroyed the party. Now, Predis team, we were in the building. You weren't? All right, we have the highlights. So check it out right here on Predis. Chocolate Bunnies, highlights. Well, you know it's all about Chocolate Bunny, and we are here at Margaritaville. You don't know it's all about Predis, so here we are. Don't move a muscle, because we're going to get the highlights right on the inside. Follow me now. <laughs> To the left and yellow bubble to the right, yellow bubble in the young, yellow bubble in the night, yellow bubble in the dark, all in the video line, yellow bubble in the minister, all in the night. Bubble me, girl, because you know you're sitting right. Bubble in your love, I'm on your no fight. You bubble in, make you fire out like a kite. You're not bubble like Pepsi, you're not bubble right. Every girl, girl, be your ticket to the No, let me tell you the truth. Normally, I'm a serenity at work on them place there. She well professional. She well professional. Right now, end top of me or something. Ready? Yes. How are you enjoying for chocolate bunnies right now? No, no, I'm thoroughly happy because I've never celebrated my birthday in this magnitude before in terms of publicly. So, Donnie, Debbie, the entire total crew, thank you very much. The heart is smiling. I've never done this before. Cake cutting and a bag of things, Cody, so I'm happy. The party is nice. It's a very nice party. If you're not here, you missed it. All right, you see, there we are party, we are vibes. Hello, we are alone. Leave, free this. <laughs> Tell me what you love most about the party. Well, um, it's a good vibe. The music is good. How does it feel to be a bunny? Trust me, it's awesome. I've been a bunny for three years, so it's awesome. And this, this is like the best one ever. The oh. best traffic bunny ever. Why is that so? Because you have, a, you have the younger crowd, you have the older crowd, and everybody just combined together and they're just dancing and the younger one enjoying the, the long time music yeah. and trust me, nice. Oh, the party are treat the team right now. Right now, the party shot. BSA DC shot. Curry Riley shot. Jamrock right now shot. Renaissance start the juggling shot. Why you have to tell the people when they are kings and we never make it? Right now, if you never, if you never they are talking about it, you just miss a big, big party, I swear. More news right here on Predis. Petcom recently signed a three-year contract with the Jamaica Netball Association. Of course, we were at the check presentation, and just in case you weren't there, we have it packed up right here on Predis. So check it out, the check presentation, Petcom, three-year contract. I know right now me a party no stop. And the girl them so hot. And the dogs them roll up. Pass me a buckle of more hot. Girl them body gets a run at. Wind up till the sun come up. She refill our cup. Till she throw up. Mm. Shaka send me more. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Lord, as a truly Jamaican company. Welcomes the opportunity of being a major sponsor of the Jamaican Netball Association for the three-year period, 2013 to 2015. It is our hope that this partnership will continue to flourish on a mutual commitment to excellence, perseverance, and a consistent focus of building and strengthening Jamaica's global position in sports tourism and business. 
we recognize the significant impact, social impact of our involvement and support for the overall development of the National Netball Program and its contribution to nation building. We are excited and very grateful. $3.2 million up until 2015 is a diversion of cash, but more importantly, it covers some of the basic needs that we're on a journey. The journey is to 2015. We have a World Youth Tournament in August. We have Commonwealth Games next year, August, and we have the World Champs in, in Sydney. And so this kind of support just is so appreciated because it satisfies a need. Like I know today is all about the, the Sunshine Girls and Petcom support for the development of sports and in particular you the Sunshine Girls, one of our nation's amb ambassadors. But if I may just give some kudos and congratulations to the president of the JNA, Miss Mrs. Marva Bernard, who has tirelessly and relentlessly been pressing palms and pounding the pavement in her quest to obtain funding and sponsorship, not just to meet her budget, but to genuinely see to the well-being of her players and the general development of netball in Jamaica. Let me thank the media, the JNA, other corporate sponsors, and of course, the hardworking Petcom team. So go get them girls, take no prisoners. Be great ambassadors as you make our nation proud. We have been sponsors of the JNA from, it dates back to 2010. And so this year, every year the JNA would come to us since then and we would negotiate a new package. We figured that based on the long-term relationship that we hope to foster and the level of continuity which we think must accompany our sponsorship, we managed to extend the time frame to three years. We think that the JNA need our help at this time and is a part of our social responsibility and a part of our social conscience and contract being a truly Jamaican company that we give back in this way to the development and the building of sports and um, individuals who will shine for Jamaica being real good brand ambassadors, not just for Petcom, but for Jamaica in general. Thank you, Petcom. As I said before, this week we are here at the National Stadium Swimming Pool and it's now time for the rum bar responsible drinking tip of the week. Yo, Terra 3000, we are dealing. Come talk to my brother. With all the partying over the recent Easter weekend, it's an appropriate time that we educate you about responsible drinking. Here's our rum bar responsible drinking tip of this week. Some teenagers are likely to drink alcohol at some stage. This is most likely to happen at a teenage party, but it could happen at a friend's house, a bar, a club, or even in the street. All you can do really is set a good example, promote sensible drinking, and explain to them the dangers of getting drunk. A teenager is far more likely to get pregnant, get someone else pregnant, or be the victim of an assault if they are drunk. You can also explain to them that alcohol consumption will affect their performance in school and at sports. That was a responsible drinking tip of this week. I am Terror 3000. Crowdy, take it away. Please remember you are watching Predis right here on your favorite station. And we are going for our first commercial break. When we get back, more fun, more excitement, more lifestyle right here. And it's brought to you by Zephyr's Hill. So keep it locked.